Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanerman456 here today to my Let's Play on Sonic CD. So, last time we did Title Tempest, and now here we are on Quartz Quadrant. And this is another stage that's one of my favorites, mostly because of, like always, the music. So, anyway, we are about to actually come to the past right here. So, first off, let's see right here. I'm gonna actually see if I can jump in here. And, huh. Apparently, before, you could actually, in the older version of the game, you could actually do a trick there to where you hop into that and it basically lets you, uh, like, it'll basically let you, um, what is it? I'm trying to figure out the word. It basically lets you go to the pa past and all just by going through that slot, but sadly, it's not working right now. Don't know why, so anyway, what we're gonna do right here is I'm going to, uh, Speed up right here. All right, here we go. And hopefully, yes. Thank goodness. All right, now we're gonna go to the past here. And now we just need to find the generator around here. So I believe it is over. Yep, right here. Perfect. Awesome. So we're basically done here. Now we can just blaze through the rest of the stage right here. Yeah, there wasn't too bad at all whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know. Something about this stage. I've always loved Quartz Quadrant. Like, even right here, the past music, it just sounds really nice. Like, listen to that bass and all that stuff. Oh gosh, okay. So it doesn't look like we can go anywhere right there. But one thing a lot of people have been asking me um, for is to actually go to the future. And I can actually see a future sign right there, so we might as well take advantage of that right there. But uh, I've had so many people ask me to go to the future because they're like, I want to see the future and stuff like that. And I'm just going to explain that it's really, really hard actually to go to the future because basically with this game, it's like if you want a good future, you're going to have to go to the past a lot. So it's like if I go to the... Uh if I go to the future more than I do go to the past, then I'm gonna like end up missing out on, uh, you know, getting the generator and all, and then getting the good future. So it's really, really hard sometimes, and I do apologize if I don't do that all the time, but you know, it's just like, I don't know, I'm trying to get the good future, and it's like, you know, in order to do that, I gotta, I gotta focus more on, um, you know, going to the past to get the good future, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, let's see right here. Oh gosh, okay. Well, screw you too. Okay, watch it around here. No, I lost my future. Oh, come on, seriously? Okay, here we go. We got this, okay. Let's see, how far can we run around here? Okay. Oh, there's a pass sign right there. Just lovely. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Huh, let's see right here. I'm trying to figure this out so that I can actually go to the future right here since a lot of people ask me about going there so much. If I can actually find a good section to just run, then I can do this. Thing is, look right here. Let's see right here. Okay. That could actually potentially work right there. Alright, we're gonna go through. If this stupid thing wouldn't bounce me so much around here. Like, I'm just saying, like, it's gonna be hard for me to go to the future, but I'm gonna try my best around here, if that makes sense. Okay. I can actually stand right here and do it like this. Okay, awesome. What? Okay, now I'm kind of confused around here. Like, I, I end up losing all my speed right there when I'm supposed to be rolling on the top of the ceiling right there. That's what I find so weird. Okay, here we go. Just let it... Yeah! That, that's so weird. Okay, whatever. I'm done. I'm done. Alright, here we go. Let's see, maybe I can get a good stretch of speed around here. Whoa, look at this! This is... Nope, of course not. See there? See there? Screw this. Screw this. And I can't even get out of here. Or wait, what? There's a... Oh, there's a hole in there. Okay. See there, I, I, like I said, it's so hard to go to the future because it's like, you know, you try, but it's like you run out of stretches to actually run around and do that, so I do apologize for all the people like, oh my gosh, you wasted so much time there. 
but you know, I tried to listen to everyone's requests where they're like, hey, go to the future. Hopefully not too many people get too upset about that. Ooh, pass. Okay. Hold up sec. Let's see. Where's a good stretch around here where I can just run? Okay. Actually, we need to come up here. Okay. I believe this is where we go. Yeah. Because if we actually run forward right around here, we're going to be able to go to that spring right there. So we need to take advantage of that. Okay. I hate to use a spin dash there, but let's see. How are we going to do this? Okay. Stop. All right. Now we're going to do this right here. So let's see right here. Alright, roll right here. Come on, come on, let's do this, let's do this. Yes! Thank goodness! We almost didn't make it right there to the past. I'm so, so glad that in the remake of this game, they fixed the collision detection around here because it was so screwed up in the original game, it's not even funny. I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have been able to have made it there if I was playing the original game. That's how messed up it was in the original, but. Anyway, let's see right here. Where am I supposed to be going? I think I'm supposed to be going on the bottom stretch down here. Yeah, let's see. Uh, is there a Metal Sonic generator back here? I was almost positive there was until I got screwed over by that. Uh, no. Screw that. Alright. Let's look around and see. Because I believe from what I can recall in my memory, the last generator is down here. So we're going to look around for it. Oh, screw you, dude. Yeah, it's somewhere around here, I believe. Because I just can't recall where. <sighs> screw you guys. Oh yeah, okay. I believe it's up here. Alright. Thing is, we need to get up there somehow. Okay, let's see. Get back on that spring over here. Okay, is it up here? I was almost positive it was up here. Let's see. Maybe it's around here? Or... I'm gonna hit the spring right here, see if we can find it around here. Aw, oh, dang it. Yeah, my memory is really, really bad with the location on the uh, generators around here, so I apologize about that, but trying here. Okay, where is that dog on generator? Like, seriously, and stop hitting your head on the ceiling sign. Jesus. Okay. Is it around here? Oh, wait! Oh, wait! We come up here! That's right! That's right! I completely forgot! There we go! Thank goodness! All right. Thankfully, that wasn't too bad right there. It was just that I was kind of dilly-dallying around here. And... Are we going to actually... I don't think we're going to be going to the special stage anytime soon. Yeah, because we're already coming to the goal right here. So, there we go. That was Act 2 right there. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I think I had, the, I had the most difficult time actually remembering where the generators were on this zone. But... Okay, quick edit right there. Sorry about that, my computer crashed. But anyway, now we're on to Quartz Quadrant Act 3. And just going to say this right now, this is my second favorite soundtrack in this game. Listen to this. This is one of the most peaceful, most soothing tunes. I, I can't even explain it. Like, at least it's one of my favorites in like a video game ever. Like, I, I've actually used this tune a lot in uh, some of my previous videos, like if I'm doing uh, giveaway winners or news updates. And actually, I listen to this tune like when I go to sleep sometimes. I don't know, just something about it. It's just very soothing, very serene. And, uh, I don't know. Sadly, now the music has to end right here, and we gotta go off against Eggman right here. So, let's see right here. Basically, what you're supposed to do right here is not do that! And you're supposed to basically let this, uh, what is it, bomb kind of like, like what you're basically trying to do right here is tr trying to outlast Eggman on this conveyor belt right here. So what I usually do is I try to stick around back there, and I come right here and avoid the bomb. So it's just you gotta be careful and you gotta 
Gotta be careful, okay. Time your speed just right around here. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, see right there? You just kind of fall back around here a little bit. Ah, oh, but not like that. Okay. Okay, fall back just a little. Fall back just a little. Fall back just a little. Oh gosh, that was close right there. Okay, come on. Fall back just a little. Fall back just a little right here. Alright. Yeah, it can be a difficult boss if you don't know what to do around here. Oh gosh! Okay. Fall back just a little. Eggman's getting a little tense right there, getting a little shaky. He's all scared. Come on. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Awesome sauce. And he is done. And there we go. So that was Quart Quadrant right there. Quartz Quadrant right there. And we got a good future there. So thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, walkthroughs, and updates. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And next time, we are going to be going to Wacky Workbench. Uh, not one of my favorite stages in this game. Actually, it's one of my least favorites. But, uh, yeah, should be fun. Should be interesting. And, uh, yeah. Just make sure to keep on in that like button if you enjoyed the video and want to see the next part soon. And I'll make sure to upload as soon as I can. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Thanks again. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Cabanerites.